Matt Schertz nets invasive black bullhead catfish fry in the clubhouse pond in late July when it is warm and shallow and the fry swim up against the bank. We're having some kind of fish kill event for the catfish. You'll see a lot of catfish carcasses around, but they still seem to produce. Prior to 2012, we were unaware of catfish invasion in the pond until we witnessed a great blue heron swallow a catfish whole. Look right here, here's one. One strategy to rid the pond of catfish is to make the water anoxic in the winter when the pond is iced over. But bullhead catfish are tolerant to acidic waters and high carbon dioxide with low oxygen levels. Because of the invasives, we have less garter snakes than I'd like, and I need to get DNA samples from garter snakes. I've got only four samples from this pond as of right now. It's pretty late in the season to only have four. Whereas in the northern floodplain, I probably have between 15 and 20 samples. Cleaning out invasives and, and looking to see if I get lucky enough to get a garter snake. What, what you try to do is net as many of the, the catfish tadpoles as possible, and you really only get one swipe out of it, because once you go through, then the school breaks up and it's also the water's muddier and they hide in the mud. And they have, of course, stingers both on their peck and dorsal fins. How bad does this sting? It, it feels like a little shock, it hurts. In my experience, it, it's sort of like being stung, but it's almost like, it feels almost like a little bit of an electrical current. The turtles have come in. Both adults and juveniles have really taken advantage of this area. This end of the pond is one of the nurseries. Got more baby turtles will make it and stay in this pond as a result of the expansion. And will the turtles eat the catfish? The turtles will eat just about anything. They're the cleanup crew. Okay, here's another. Ah, oh, look at those little buggers. It's like tiny little whales. Bob Schrader says sport fishermen released the bullhead catfish in the Bitterroot River in the late 1980s. They became prolific in the pond. A fish kill event in 2014 and 15 eliminated some adults. Last time I was out dip netting them, the net was up to here, solid catfish. On the other side of the pond, and it's just like, it's like 30 pounds in the, in the net.